the owner goes out and there are other dogs around, then the dog's going to react because I never had a chance to, to work that. So instead of just, you know, telling the owner, oh, you know, when he does that, then you do this, that's, that's reactive. That's you doing something after the fact. And the problem with that is that kind of gives the dog the upper hand, which slows training down and it, it slows kind of the dog's trust in your ability to control things, to control the situation. Whereas if I can create the situation, maybe I'll bring the dog around other dogs and if he's reactive, I'll correct. And before he's reactive, I'll correct so that I, I don't need to correct him as much. If I bring a dog around another dog and I see him even begin to hyper fixate on him, I'm going to correct him right there. I'm not going to wait for him to lunge. I'm not going to wait for him to bark. A lot of people think, oh, should I wait to see what he's going to do? And I tell them, no, he's already getting there. As soon as the dog starts hyper focusing, he's already building himself up, amping himself up for the attack. He just hasn't done it yet. That doesn't mean that he wouldn't do it. And that doesn't mean that even just even just kind of trying to get himself there isn't correctable, isn't a bad you know habit for the dog to have. So as soon as the dog shows an inclination of losing focus on me in order to focus on the other dog, I correct. And that's being, that's kind of creating the situation. I know the other dog was going to be there. I put him there. But only by working this, only by getting the dog to a point where he's very consistent. And when he's very consistent and I'm very consistent, then we start to wean out of correction and onto praise. I love praising dogs. A lot of people think that, you know, balanced training is a negative form of training and it's not. As the dog gets better, and they do very quickly, then it starts becoming less, you know, prong collar or e collar because the dog is listening, and then it becomes more leave it, good boy, because he'll leave it. Now, when the dog gets more solid with that, the more praise the dog gets, and the less the dog is inclined to lunge after the other dog, then he stops becoming so nervous around other dogs because being around other dogs isn't so much a stressful thing anymore. It's it's almost like the dog has this feeling, oh, okay, I know what to do here. Just focus on me sit when I tell you to sit and that's all you got to do there is no more question should I protect my owner am I going to lunge and you know it's just you know what do I do exactly what the trainer tells me and that's it and dogs like what is very simple so once the dog gets good enough to where he doesn't lose focus with you at all then you can start to get really happy with him you know dogs come by him and he walks right by without showing any without even looking his way I would stop the dog right there and praise him a ton right there being around other dogs can slowly start to become something to be celebrated, not to be feared. And that is sort of how you start to ingrain habits into dogs. Dogs get so used to, oh, you know, does seeing this dog mean this? Especially because if you have an, ag an aggressive dog, all owners do the same thing. They get nervous themselves, so they tighten up the leash on the dog. Now the dog's like choked or the dog's limited in space or the dog is kind of, or somebody will hold on to their dog and now the dog's like being hugged by the owner. And so you're reinforcing these behaviors. The dog sees something. He thinks he should be afraid of him for whatever reason. And then the owner just validates that by acting afraid themselves. Whereas if the owner stays calm, takes control of the situation before there is a situation, as soon as the dog fixates, correct him. And then you continue on. And as you correct the dog, the dog gets better. Maybe next time he doesn't hyperfixate. Not only is there no correction and no leash tension and no hugging, but there is praise. There is good boy. I want more of that. You give me that from now on. Now the dog has direction. Now the dog isn't left alone and doesn't have to figure out what to do. And then you'll have a happy dog. So I'll recap it here and then I'll finish it. So consistency is key. Make sure that whatever you do, you do it a lot. Make sure that it's very clear, both for you and the dog, because that will avoid the frustration. The simpler it is, the more likely you are to do it. The better it works, the more likely you are to do it. The easier it is on the dog, the better it is in terms of training. And the more effective it is with the dog, the more the better it is in terms of training. And that's the name of the game ultimately. No matter what form of training, teaching a dog something new takes a certain amount of stress because the dog is forced to adapt in one way or another. Even if it's something like, you know, learning how to sit for a treat, the dog is still denied the treat until he sits. No matter what, the dog's going to go under stress. So it becomes a matter of how can I how can I give the dog the absolute minimum amount of stress with the absolute maximum value for training time? And how can I avoid stress so that I'm most happy about it? I'm most pleased with my dog. Because make no mistake, people that are angry with their dogs, they treat their dogs worse. Maybe they don't go out that day or maybe whatever else. It's not fair, but it's true. So I'm just trying to attack things from a very a realistic standpoint. Make sure that you're very concise. Make sure that you're very precise. And the dogs will learn so fast that they'll be great in no time. You'll be great in no time. And that's the way to get things done. Thanks for listening, guys. Again, if you have any questions, maybe a topic idea, um, or even, you know, maybe trainers or someone that wants to be on the show, maybe someone that has questions. I'd love to have people on. 
It's happypupstraining at gmail.com or just happypupstraining on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My name is Mariano. Thanks for listening. I'm out of here.